Hello, dear members. In this discussion, we are going to, to be looking at the prismoidal rule for areas and volumes approximation. So the prismoidal method is a numerical technique used for approximating the volume of a solid or the area under a curve by considering the solid as a series of uh, uh, pyramids or prisms. It is especially used for finding the volume of irregularly shaped objects or the area under a curve when the exact analytical uh, solution is difficult to obtain. And now we shall divide the area uh, whose volume or area is required into a number of uh, sections. And then from there, we can look at the area of the first section, area of the last, and the areas uh, of the middle sections. And it is from that that we are going to use a number of models according to uh, either Simpson or trapezoidal. Uh, then look at it in reference to the prismoidal method and be able to use all of those methods to calculate the volumes or areas. But in here, we are going to specifically look at the prismoidal formula. Okay, the prismoidal formula. And this is usually for calculating volumes of earth material earth material or soil in the areas of civil, of surveying, okay, surveying and civil construction. So therefore, we are going to be looking at formula number one for area. So area is going to be approximately equal to a B minus A out of 6 into F of A plus f of a plus b out of 2 plus f of b. So that means if we are talking about area that is uh, in the interval from a to b, that is, uh, for example, integrating f of x from a to b, okay, with respect to x, will be approximately equal to this area. And uh, where a and b, of course, we are talking about the interval along which we are summing up these areas. Now, take an example. If you had, um, for example, you had a function like y is equal to x squared. So this x squared, and we are talking about limits, limits, for example, 0, maybe to 4, okay? So if we are talking about limits, 0 to 4, uh, this is how we are going to do this. So integral from 0 to 4 of x squared with respect to x is going to be approximately equal to, uh, we are going to have 4 minus 0 divided by 6, then into f of what? Of 0 plus f of 4 plus f of 0 plus 4 everything out of 2. And then, we are going to be looking at um, f of 0 equal to 0 square, and that is 0. Then f of 4 is equal to 4 square, and that is 16. Then f of 0 plus 4, okay, out of 2, this is the same as f of 2, and this is 2 square, and this is equal to 4. Therefore, if we are looking for um, area from 0 to 4 of x squared, with respect to x will be approximately equal to, now this is b, this is a. So b minus a is equal to 4 minus 0. So for that matter, therefore, this area is going to be approximately equal to a 4 minus 0 out of 6 into 0 plus 16 plus, plus 4, uh, obviously times 4, because this is uh, our formula. Our formula is supposed to be 4 times that. And therefore, this is going to be, this is going to be, uh, this is 2 out of 3 into, this is a 16 plus 16, that is 32, and that is 64 out of 3. So, 
that integral from 0 to 4, x squared with respect to x according to the prismoidal method is 64 out of 3. Maybe you can use um, also the method of exact integration. So uh, integral of x squared from 0 to 4 with respect to x is equal to x cubed out of 3. So from 0 to 4, we put in our 4 as this is 4 to power 3. So 4 to power 3 uh, is equal to 64 out of 3. So you can see these two are the same. These two are the same. And therefore, we can say our prismoidal formula is actually giving us uh, a more exact or approximate uh, exact answer. So because in other times, if we are required to give uh, this answer to a number of decimal places, then it is going to be an approximated number or an approximated value. And that's all. That's how we can calculate the area using the prismoidal formula. So in the next video, we are going to be looking at volume.